All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. We ran through full driving essentials a little while ago. Did so, we? Yeah, I did. Oh. <coughs> you weren't there. <laughs> you get that, eh? I was camping. Yeah. So now we're going to run through camping, which is sort of our, I suppose, the other side of this channel. So we've got everything laid out here. What we think is essential, not what Misha thinks is essential. <laughs> because she we'll wants bring to that bring out later. everything out. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's run through it. We've also got our, what we started with and what we use now. Yeah. So the step ups of things. So obviously when you buy things, it's you're, you're kind of on a budget at the start, but years and years and years, you get rid of that and you add something different. Yep. Shade. Shade, awning on your car, if you don't have that, we always take it, whether it's rain, hail or shine, we always take one. Um, if it's too hot, you need the shade and it's pouring with rain, you obviously don't want to get wet, but these um, walls as well. Um, so we've got a really old one of one these, um, but they're just so hardy, eh? Yeah. These ones, so. I've had one that's lasted for many a year, so, yeah. so can't go wrong. Between us, have you still got the old one? And the new no. one? Okay, so we've got three between us. So we, we set them all up and we've got walls for all of it. So you basically <laughs> stop the wind or stop the rain and sit in there and get warm if you need to. So shade's probably one of the biggest, eh? Definitely, right. definitely. Tie it down if it's windy. Tie it down if it's windy, that's... We, we did have that fiasco when we went to Logebrook. <laughs> All right, so as you can probably tell... Uh, it's really windy! It's very windy. Um, thanks for putting it like that. Uh, we just finished setting up. Uh, gazebo's nearly blown away about four times now. That we tied was quite it down. An episode. Just not the middle. After it nearly blew over. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so speaking of tying down, we've got a few assortment of pegs. Do you want to grab them? Yeah. A bit heavy. So, <clears throat> these two that I've got, um, super handy for sand. So if you go on the beach, especially windy down there, so you want to make sure you've got some decent pegs. These are probably a little bit overkill, um, but better to be safe than sorry. They're the best. We started with these. <laughs> how you going things <laughs> we went to the second how you going things and now, and we've and got... now we're with the, this is where the evolution of life right here yeah. in camping okay. so you definitely want a set of these for your beach but these are um, these are sufficient. basically just to keep Aaliyah's chair locked down <laughs> yeah That's it. and so if you're staying at um a caravan park you're probably just going to use your standard pegs but yeah. if you're going to the beach especially for your awnings that's what we yeah. use these mostly for um You'll need these for sure. Toilet paper. Oh my God. That's an essential <laughs> for sure. Um, got some wipes and what else is that? Just bin bags. Bin bags. For rubbish. Bits and pieces always clean up after yourself when you go on campsites because otherwise they get shut down. We won't get to go. Speaking of cleaning up after yourselves, this is where we keep our bin. So that lives in the back of my car. Little bin in there, plenty of bin bags. Definitely need it. Make sure you use it. Don't put your stuff on the ground because <laughs> no one likes it. Where'd you get that bag from? Um, got the bag from Chaos 4x4. I think they're over in Queensland, I think. Um, but yeah, super cool. Uh, it's also got clips underneath that when I drop my tailgate, it'll still stay upright so you're not tipping everything out when you drop your tailgate. So it's super handy. Mm. That's an essential. So, um, <clears throat> next thing is if you're gonna have a fire, all right, we always take um, some kindling and then we always take our own wood and either a tomahawk or an ax. Obviously, if it's raining, you want to keep warm. And then even at night, it's good for the mozzies and that, the smoke. 100%. You know, try and keep all the mozzies away at night because um, you've always got lights going on. Yeah. So it keeps some of the mozzies away. So we'll always take wood, especially in summer though, you're not going to be able to do it too often because there's obviously heaps of fire restrictions. But then so that's done, the wood. And super handy with these, if you get yourself an axe, you can use it as a hammer. So 
besides you having to carry a hammer and an axe, you might as well just get an axe and do both at once for when you're knocking in your pegs for your swags and your gazebos when we tie them down. <laughs> hey, Mish. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is going to be our first. This is the first thing that actually happens. We get out of the this, car. This is. This is get out of the car. This is ours. Dylan's got this thing that's bigger than the boot of his car. <laughs> but music, always got to have music. We so, love having it yeah. when we're setting up. Yeah. So it's the first thing that comes out of the car. Music's on, set up. When you're sitting around the fire with your drinks and all that good stuff cooking, always got music going in the background. Yeah. So Johnny Farnham. Yeah. yeah. Mesh loves a bit of Johnny Farnham, so that gets on there straight away. Let's run on this one. Got a camera up here. So um this is Seldy's little fireplace. Do you want to talk about this, Seldy? Yeah, so basically if you go somewhere and they don't have a fire pit, you don't have to dig a hole. Right, we're just you know, it's got a little out. Uh, like this is just something I bought off a guy off Marketplace. So you stick your wood in there, it's got a couple of clips on top, a couple of brackets, um, so that you can stick a camp stove on top and then you can uh, put the lid on it and cook whatever you're doing in your camp stove. But just it heaps nice and handy if you're not, if you, you know, you don't want to light it on the floor. It keeps it all contained too for those yeah. um, areas that you want to keep a little bit more clean than others. So that's definitely, Central, and then we've got another beauty. This is for when Seldy burns himself on the fire. So, or if you've got kids, <laughs> this, <laughs> this is going to be kids. as essential as your toilet paper. When they go That's motorbike it. riding in gravel with no oh, yeah. protective gear on. Yeah, Matteo. Matteo loved that one. <laughs> it was coming. That was not a good it time was for not him. A good time. But yeah, so just get a generic first aid kit. Um, probably handy just to actually make sure you know how to use it too. Yeah. So. Uh, first aid classes, things like that. Super handy, especially if and, you're going out remote. Yeah, and the more camping you do, the more you're going to find things that you don't need and you do need. So yeah. you run out, make sure you replace them or you go, go next time and you're For out. For sure, 100%. You don't want to get stuck yeah. in that situation without that. Yeah. Let's talk lights. Start with these guys. Headlamps. You'll use them everywhere. You'll use them going to the toilet, going and do your washing, whatever you're doing, walking down to the kiosk if you're at a caravan park. But Kids are always tearing around with these on their head. So you always, and keep some batteries, some spare ones. For sure, yep. yeah. Double A's, triple A's, yep. all that good stuff. And underneath here, this was one of the ones that we started with. Just a quick LED, it lights up everything quite a lot. So they're just the, the couple of basic ones that we started with and then we went onto these. Yeah, so now we've sort of eventuated more so to the 12 volt setup. So these are just light bars that we run off um, our 12 volt systems. Uh, but the handy thing about these is they run not only white light, they also have amber light, uh, which is sort of orange light. And they will basically keep mozzies away, keep all the bugs and stuff away because they're not as attracted to it. So super handy when you're cooking. Yeah. Always put that, that different light on so that you're not getting any bugs in your food and things like that. Yeah. Are the disco lights in there? The disco lights, yeah. I'll have to feature oh, them on an car. episode. Yeah. I bought some lights that do some colours. And, uh, <laughs> maybe I'll drop that video of the <laughs> little dance party we had one time at Lowbrook. <laughs> I'll just drop that in right here. <laughs> um, right. These are different to that. They're light bars. All right, they connect section on section on section, but you can also have a light, then an extension, then a light, so it'll go round if you have three gazebos set up and they're three meters, so you've got six meters by six meters, you want to go all the way around, or mm. these are just rolls. So we've got four of those rolls. So we got, really depends on what we've we got, do, yeah. where we go. Um, and it's only one bag, like you're not really taking, we're always so like aware of what we're taking for space, but like that's just one small bag that carries everything. So. And you always need lights, especially when you're cooking, things yeah. like that. So yeah. uh, as we start working around, we might as well touch on the fact that we've got um, all this gear on tables. It's first thing you need. Again, it's one yeah. of the first things that comes out because uh, you always need somewhere to put stuff when you're unpacking. So we've got uh, this one. These are just basic bunning, this, Bunnings yeah. ones. I've Nothing got two, a longer fancy. one and a shorter one. And yep. so it's, it really depends on where we're going, how long we're going for to what we take. Yeah, and then we've got my Darch one that we take just it's about low, yeah. anywhere. It folds up really nicely and as you can see, it's I think it's 1.8 meters long, so plenty of space there. 
we always take water. You always got to take water, hot, cold, whatever. But because we always go away with like, I know it's probably a minimum of five people anywhere we go. So I, I normally take a 20. Yours is a 20? I wrote a 20. So we always take 40, right? So you can either leave it with this airflow tap, right? We've half filled it with the water. They're pretty good. But if it's stuck in your car, we always have an extension. Bunnings, it was like how much for that? Eight bucks. Yeah, it wasn't much. Eight bucks. Get an extension, get a tap. You can put that in the put back in of your car, up. run the hose all the way out. So you've always got water. We're always, everything we do is like skiing or or on the beach or something. So we're always drinking water. Yeah, so. and might even need it, you know, like wash the kids' feet, yeah. something like that. So it's always the handy dishes. to have more than what you need, yeah. for sure. And if everybody's got a Misha in their life. <laughs> Who doesn't need that? I didn't say need, I said if anyone's got. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, camp kettle. All right, so handy, so handy, especially when it's cold. Lots of tea. Tea, Do coffee. Do you want to touch on the, um, the cookers to yeah. do with the kettle? Yeah, so that's, really that's basically, we've got three different camp cookers, right? So the little gas mate, all right. Super basic, super, super cheap. Super basic. You just basically buy these from camping store. All right, sitting there, they're so cheap and really handy. And then when you pack them away, all you do is turn that up, chuck it in the case and it's done. But they literally are just a, a lockdown and light. They're so quick and so easy. So quick and so easy. So then the next step we did was a, an actual barbecue and depends again where we go. So it's got two different, uh, you just bring a gas bottle. All right, and then if you want to roast the thing, it's got your temperature gauge on top. Or then this is a, a high output um, gas one. So we have used this the last couple of times and it's been awesome. It's like if it's really windy, because it's high output, you can still cook. All right, so that's been great. I reckon, I reckon out of these two for us, these have been the best. We've only used this probably twice or three times and more at home. It's a lot more bulky so, too. Yeah, especially if you're after space. So you need something to cook. And the slow cooker is good, but not essential, but it is good. The slow cooker? Mm. Yeah, we haven't taken that. Put a roast and on, you can, come and back. And you can only use a slow cooker when you're in a powered site, which is That's it. limiting for people that want to go off grid. Unless you've got inverters and big 12 volt setups, um, you can take them, but yeah. Keep the marks away. <laughs> yeah, regard. And these, balls, yeah, for sure. yeah. So, and these are all just little things that we literally use every time we go. Yeah. Like this is essential for us, especially like everything revolves around the kids and, and whether they're warm or whether they've got food or whether they're getting eaten alive by mozzies or, you know, all those kind of things. You just kind of go, we need that next time. And then this is where we're at. Um, That's it. Esky, most important, make sure it's chopped up with drinks. Mm. Forget the food, you don't really need it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, look, you don't have to use an esky. We've got fridges, you've seen that in our rundowns of our car. So, um, but you know, ice. simple, simple yeah. esky and some ice. You can put stuff in there, that's all good. Chairs, gotta have your chairs, definitely. Yeah. Chair, <laughs> chairs are like one of those personal things. We've got about seven different chairs. Yeah. I'm Again, sure. because we've got kids. Yeah. Aaliyah has this chair which takes up enough room for three chairs but we try not to take that very often but yeah. um we've got yeah these pod chairs oh the moon, chairs. the moon chairs these are the best purchase ever i bought one and then i think it was about a week later Seldy bought one because i found some on marketplace for him <laughs> so they're, they're the best chairs this is um misha's pride and joy <laughs> and, just um, your standard yeah but it's it's, it's a comfort thing are you going yeah, to go on to sit down? So if you want to go, you can go full, you know, recliners and all, all that carry on. But, but who um, sits down that long at camping? Yeah, yeah. that's it. We usually... Which is why we don't really in. take a little chair for a lair anymore. <laughs> Until it's dinner time. Yeah, and I've got two little uh, sort of beach chairs that I've always got in my car. Just super simple. Fold out, take up no room. And they just straight yeah. out, which I use a lot at the beach. Just because these get... Um, quite blocked up with all your sand and salt. So if you are going to the beach, wash them down, like we said with the water. If you've got more, you can give them a little rinse off before you put them back in the car. So that's super handy too. All right, let's talk the end of the night when um, we've had a few too many drinks and it's uh, time to hit the hay and recharge for the next day. We've got a couple options here. 
Um, we got Big Daddy Swag. You've seen our review on it. We love them. What do you reckon? Yeah, they're, they're so good. You started so, off with a couple of different ways of. Um, we started yeah. off. Yeah, we started off with like we've had. God, two person tent, four person tents, ten, ten, ten. and or fourteen. Even the, the hubs off the off the side. Yeah, we had a fourteen person tent that died in Coral Bay when a kangaroo jumped through it <laughs> on New Year's Eve. It actually jumped in, bounced around, jumped out, and broke all the side of the tent. So that basically from that day on, we moved on. We didn't really um, camp too much more after that, did we? Not in tents. No. So um, yeah, so we went from from tents. Um, and inside the tent we had, um, these are like, we use them when kids have sleepovers and um, we just, um, self-inflating the self mattresses. mattresses, yeah, you just undo the, the bungs on the end, they fill up, you fill them up and they're super comfortable and yeah, then just, sure. yeah, just your sleeping bag on top. Um, but yeah, the swags for us, and we, we were going to talk about this too, is about like everything moving on and getting better, but we, like rooftop campers, it's just not, oh yeah. Axel, come here. Axel, oh, well. come here. Come here. Here come you here. go. Good boy. Come here. This is oh. a beauty. This is, right, this on, is... right on cue. Yeah. We're going to talk about how our setups have evolved throughout the, the year. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah. And rooftop canvas. Rooftop canvas. Um, yeah. Misha and I always struggle with whether we want a swag or whether we want to do the rooftop camper or we talk about getting a camper trailer but everywhere we go we want to take the jet ski so yeah. we basically have come to the conclusion that the swags for us you know until it's too hot somewhere and, and it's you know how good's the new sleeping bag that we just got oh, recently yeah. the, spin the spin effects one yeah i touched on that um when i did my king's review on the swag yeah so good um, they're super warm super handy keep it all in there so it's all contained also maybe put in the comments who likes to set their swag up when they first get to camp or wait till it's dark and they've had a few drinks Who's using this again <laughs> so basically what happens when we go to camp we arrive we're, first, we're camping it's fun to relax well the first thing i do is crack a drink same with seldy and we you know do what we do we're ready to hit the water on the ski or do god knows what and do everything <laughs> and all we have is misha in our ear saying Oh, you should set up the camp. You should set up the camp. Me and Seldy are like, we don't have time for that. Let's wait till it gets dark so, so we so can't So we'll drop in the comments. Are you guys the people that roll up, set camp up, and then, you know, start to enjoy your holiday? Or do you enjoy the holiday first and then get a little bit too late in the evening and realise I haven't set up camp? But we haven't been that late in the evening yet. Mm. No, we've been close up there. We've been close. Yeah. Yep. Um, the other thing is... Hats, so hats, shade, sun protection, morning gazebos, anything, anything to long keep shirts, out of the fishing sun. shirts, long, yeah, things like that. Long shirts on purpose. So we talked about hats. We forgot to mention what to do in winter. Make sure you got beanies, plenty of blankets, things like that. Um, and then in summer, obviously, make sure you're taking your sun cream, all that kind of stuff, um, because it's pretty pretty harsh out there sometimes when you're camping. So prepare for the elements. We've experienced a lot of it. So make sure you've got everything. Even when you're busy on the water, you're quite cool and fresh and you sometimes forget about reapplying sun cream. It gets washed That's up pretty it. quickly. Yeah, so make sure you reapply. And like I said, when we're out in the water with the ski, um, wetsuits in winter time especially, because it gets bloody cold. <laughs> so just thought we'd add that in. Um, enjoy the rest of the video. If you, you don't have to do it expensive. Even though we've kind of moved up and it um, changed along the way, we haven't gone out and spent a fortune on any, anything, you know, like. No, that's it. I and know, it's been just... slowly sort of progressed, like, yeah. obviously, you know, especially with like our awnings, for example, we started with just the generic pull-out awnings and they're only, what, 150 bucks? Yep. You know, but then as we, as we sort of progressed, we wanted more shade, we wanted easier setup, things like that. Um, so that all comes into play as you're starting to get your little essentials kit together. Yeah, yeah. You can do it. You can do it on a good on a good budget. For you sure. You don't have to blow blow it out just as to you, keep up with the Joneses. As you can see, the gazebo is holding out the rain. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, probably another tip too um, with these gazebos 
just your corners, you can get some different, um, you can get different water runners, but they basically just make the, um, the gazebo a bit more taut and the water can run off it a bit more easier. Otherwise, sometimes like here, you can see it's all pulled up. So if you had something there, which you can buy, just runs the water off. Was there one that you um, looked at the other day with the pool noodle? Was that for that as yeah, well? Yeah, <laughs> I did see some that you can get pool noodles, uh, mainly for the ones that have beams going down. And Oh, there you go. That's nice. So basically, that's basically, how they work. You do them before you, before you actually put the gazebo up. It just sits in behind there and it pushes it up so it doesn't pull in here like this and then someone walks outside and gets caned by the rain. <laughs> These yeah. are so good. So good. And then since we are raining, um, we'll touch on this here. Probably not so essential, but this will keep your feet clean, the bottom of your swags clean, way easier to clean stuff up. Basically just sort of like a shade cloth uh, mesh flooring. Um, so super handy just adds that little bit extra um extra to help you out because cleaning the bottom of your swags and things like that can be a bit of a pain but um, getting in and out of the swag keeping your feet it. clean super handy we usually take them we're always setting them up um in our areas where we're chilling and um, the rocks sometimes helps on the rocks yeah, too. yeah <laughs> that's it yeah so it's just good to keep that um and then probably lastly if you want to touch on storage i suppose oh, yeah yeah so these, um, the storage boxes are awesome. You can get them from anywhere. What, what are your brand of yours, June? June from Anaconda. June yeah. from Anaconda. I think that's a King's one that I bought second hand. It was, I bought it for 50 bucks, I think, but I've got, I think I've got two of those and you've got three. You need them. Mm. It's just like, instead of having stuff sprawled everywhere, have boxes, have those little bags, the storage exactly. bags, just so that you can go. And we have kind of a bag for each stuff or a box for each stuff so that we know exactly where we're going. Otherwise, you've got a million different things and it's so hard to find everything. So You don't want ants and bees and... Yeah, and yep. then you can put food in there like... Um, oh, we'll, we'll touch on Misha's Essential in a minute. <laughs> yeah. But you can't kind of have Misha's Essential sitting in the back of the car because you'll have ants everywhere. That's it. So, But yeah, it's also handy for us. Like I said, most of our trips are last minute <laughs> hence the name um so we've got all this stuff packed away in boxes um basically just ready to go so as soon as we as soon as we call each other up and say we're heading out somewhere it's a matter of throwing all that stuff in the car yeah packing the fridge it'll be know. a tuesday a wednesday or a thursday and it's like this weekend's going to be good and it's yeah. home to pack during the day at night yeah and then we we'll leave first thing saturday you know? so you just got to make sure everything's accessible and um yeah get it ready to go in there and Go on some last minute adventures. Yeah. I think that's gonna be it for our essentials anyway. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hand it over to Misha because <laughs> she insisted she's got all these great essential items <laughs> that you need to have in your it's camping. It's not too kit. many, to, really. It's not too many apparently. <laughs> well, let's go, do you want to turn we'll around? See. No, let's see how essential it is. No, I need hey, to Misha. go and get them. Okay, let's go. Should we like follow you, you on this? There. I got. have to have the tin can. Whether it's summer, winter, day, night, cup of tea, breakfast. My favourite. <laughs> Need tin cans. And a drink. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh. we're going to have to blur that out, Nisha. <laughs> okay, there you go. Seabird <laughs> Tavern, see you at the bird. Um, I didn't have marshmallows, but generally when we have a fire, <laughs> you need marshmallows to make your s'mores or just to eat them. And that's about it. That's all my essentials. <laughs> and food. <laughs> all right. Misha's, Misha's the, the cook. Um, so she does, that's why she's got the Tim Tams and everything else. <laughs> you know how it is. But anyway, that's going to be it from us. That's a little uh, look into what we take camping, mainly the essentials. Obviously, we do take a lot of other stuff as well with us. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So if you want to get started, this is probably a good place to start. There's probably a few things you don't necessarily need, like music, you know, things like that. Obviously, oh, fires yeah, may or may not happen. <laughs> okay, don't you need, swear. You need music. You, you need, need the music. music. <laughs> Misha would be lost without a bit of Johnny Farnham. You hear it. You go jet ski so, and you come in, you hear the music. Going. That's awesome. And yeah. some earplugs if you like to go to bed earlier and everyone else likes to party. Yeah, or you, no you one. snore like this guy. No, I don't snore. No one goes to bed as early as you have. <laughs> But anyway, that's Double a wrap. Hander. Thanks for tuning in. Double hander. Double hander. Ooh. That's a wrap.